For months, deep space offered only silence. Voyager 1, the most distant human creation ever sent beyond Earth, had drifted out of contact in any meaningful sense. The signals it emitted were distorted, nonsensical, mere electronic noise lost in the vast dark ocean of interstellar space. For a time, many believed the aging spacecraft, now over four decades into its mission, had finally succumbed to time and the void. It had outlived all expectations, but perhaps now, after 45 years of unrelenting endurance, its mission had reached a quiet and unremarkable conclusion. Then, without warning or explanation, everything changed. A coherent signal returned. Not only was it readable, it was clear, structured, and impossible to ignore. Data streamed back in intelligible form, but what it revealed defied current models of physics and space. Experts, stunned by what they were seeing, began to reassess their assumptions about Voyager's position and the nature of the space through which it traveled. Among the many scientists analyzing the data, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist stepped forward with a stark warning. This alters everything. What we're seeing shouldn't be possible. It's as if Voyager is no longer in a space we recognize. His words, while cautious, reverberated through the scientific community. There was a dawning awareness that Voyager 1 might not simply be exploring the universe, it might have stumbled into a reality that we have no framework for understanding. Launched. In 1977, Voyager 1 was a product of its time, crafted with 1970s technology, with computing power far inferior to today's simplest devices. It was built to last perhaps a decade, just long enough to fly by the gas giants and beam back data about the outer solar system. But against all odds, it endured. After performing flybys of Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager used the gravitational pull of these planets to slingshot itself farther and faster than anything before it. This maneuver, made possible by a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years, was dubbed the Grand Tour. Using the gravity of each successive planet, Voyager accelerated outward, escaping the Sun's influence and entering the unknown. Now Voyager 1 resides more than 14 billion miles from Earth, far beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the E.T. Sun's solar wind no longer dominates. It has entered interstellar space, a place believed to be quiet, cold and empty. And yet, what Voyager is experiencing now suggests that space beyond the solar system is anything but barren. So after months of sending corrupted data, Voyager's instruments began recording strange, consistent phenomena, Plasma density readings spiked, magnetic fields twisted and shifted unpredictably, the number and orientation of cosmic rays behaved erratically. The data was not just unfamiliar, it was unprecedented. These readings could not be reconciled with any known behavior of interstellar matter. The more scientists analyzed the data, the more disturbing it became. Cosmic rays appeared to be arriving from unexpected directions. Magnetic lines usually aligned in specific patterns, were misaligned and fluctuated as if in response to an unseen force. Plasma waves exhibited rhythmic pulses that had no known source. It was as if Voyager had crossed an invisible threshold, not merely the edge of our solar system, but the boundary of a region where the familiar laws of physics no longer held sway. One researcher put it simply, it feels like Voyager has entered a space we didn't even know existed, Voyager's surroundings are not behaving the way interstellar space is expected to behave. The environment it now inhabits appears to be in flux. Instead of drifting through emptiness, Voyager is encountering turbulence, ripples of energy, storms of charged particles, and plasma fluctuations that seem to come from nowhere. But perhaps most perplexing of all are the gravitational anomalies. Voyager 1, while continuing on its trajectory, appears to be gently tugged, its motion subtly altered in ways that defy explanation. There are no nearby stars exerting a pull, no collisions with debris, yet its course, though not dramatically, altered, reflects an influence we cannot measure or detect. These minor deviations in trajectory have led to increasingly bold theories. Some now suspect that Voyager may have entered a liminal zone, a kind of cosmic borderland, between the known universe and a greater hidden reality. 
This so-called transitional region may not obey the same physical laws as the space we're familiar with. It may represent an interface between dimensions or even the edge of a simulated environment, a structure or design beyond comprehension, buried deep in the scaffolding of the cosmos itself. The idea once relegated to the realm of science fiction or chalkboard conjecture is now gaining traction in real scientific discussion. Voyager may have encountered something artificial, something engineered, or something fundamentally alien, adding, to the mystery, Voyager's instruments began detecting a repeating signal, an oscillating rhythmic fluctuation in the background radiation. This pulse was not chaotic or random. It showed precise timing, structured repetition, and deliberate modulation. At first, engineers thought it might be a malfunction, perhaps a resonance within the spacecraft systems. But the pattern persisted, unaffected by system resets and uncorrelated with any known cosmic object. It was not a pulsar. It was not a quasar. It was not consistent with any known phenomenon of natural astrophysics. More unnerving still, the pulse seemed to change in strength and pattern shortly after Voyager transmitted its own data bursts, as if the signal were responding, as if something out there was not just emitting but listening. One of the engineers, while visualizing Voyager's magnetic field data in a time-lapse three-dimensional model, noticed something that defied coincidence. A distinct spiral shape began to emerge, symmetrical, regular, and elegant in its complexity. It repeated with uncanny precision across various time intervals, forming what appeared to be a lattice, a network, or a framework of forces unseen and unknown. Some theorized it could be a natural gravitational matrix, like a web of invisible, strings stretching across space. But others whispered more audacious ideas, that this might be a signal signature from something artificial, an encoded structure, or perhaps the boundary lines of a greater cosmic system, one too vast for us to perceive in its entirety. Voyager's own internal systems began to behave unpredictably as well, though not in the ways typical of equipment failure. Its orientation sensors, normally used to determine its position relative to distant stars, began producing contradictory data. The probe, according to its own instruments, existed in more than one spatial orientation simultaneously. Furthermore, slight but measurable shifts in signal speed were recorded, as though the very fabric of space-time through which the signal passed was being stretched or compressed. These anomalies led some to speculate that Voyager may have entered, a region of space where the dimensions themselves vary, where time and space do not behave in consistent or linear ways. This idea, once reserved for speculative physics and theoretical mathematics, is no longer confined to textbooks. For the first time, we may be seeing observational evidence that such realms exist. Voyager, with its limited instruments and vintage technology, may have penetrated an area where the universe folds in on itself, revealing a hidden architecture beneath the surface of reality. Its journey has become something more profound than exploration. It is now a witness to phenomena that could redefine our most basic understanding of the cosmos. Voyager was never meant to travel this far. It was never supposed to leave the solar system, never designed to confront the limits of dimensional stability or the possibility of artificial structures in interstellar space. And yet here it is, still transmitting, still revealing, still challenging the foundations of modern science. It carries with it the golden record, a message from Earth to any intelligent beings it might encounter. But now, irony turns full. Circle. Voyager may be the first to receive a message in return. After 45 years, the spacecraft has taken humanity to the edge of our known universe, and perhaps beyond. The data it sends back contains riddles wrapped in pulses, anomalies written in magnetism, and structures etched into invisible forces. Its journey no longer feels like mere exploration. It feels like an encounter, perhaps with something ancient, perhaps with something watching, perhaps with something waiting. Voyager may have reached the edge of the universe or passed into something on the other side. So we must ask, is Voyager still exploring space as we know it, or is it revealing that space as we understand it has boundaries, layers we have not yet imagined, and truths we are only now beginning to glimpse? Let us know your thoughts. Has Voyager breached the limits of our dimension, 
Or is this the first sign that we were never truly alone in the vastness of the cosmos? Stay with us. Subscribe and turn on notifications, because the next transmission from Voyager might just be the message we've been waiting to hear since the beginning of time.